Una de las cosas más emocionantes es que hay algunas bandas que ya están repitiendo su participación en este festival. Y el día de hoy nos acompaña por segunda vez Sodom. Welcome back to the Mexico Metal Fest. How are you? We are fine, thank you. We arrived yesterday and had a long trip to hear about that. Yes, yeah, it was a long trip. It's always a lot of fun to be here. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, this is your second time in the festival. Do you have um, some memories that you can recall from that? Was it 2017 when you played here? Uh, I think Sodom was the first metal band ever played in Mexico. It was in 90 or 91, I think, something like this. And that was a great experience to be the first one in, in, in different or strange countries. Okay. Being there. We had a lot of fun. We had uh, two shows. It was just a warm-up show and then a bigger show, yeah. Of course. Um, and uh, as well, a lot of things have happened since um, uh, a couple of years ago. You uh, had a pandemic, we all had a pandemic, and as well, you uh, released an album and an EP. So you're a very uh, hard-working band. You're working uh, every time. So how was this uh, past two years for you? Yeah, uh, in these two years uh, we had a lot of studio work and uh, recorded the album and everything uh, because there was no shows and then a year later we only had like three shows something in the summertime <clears throat> and right now is the year where everything is going pretty well. We have a lot of festivals, we have uh, shows, we have a little tour at the end of the year and uh, everything works well. So, so we, we are always busy, you know and there is no time for vacation or whatever. During the corona pandemic, we spent more time rehearsing songs, writing songs, you know. Um, and after that, a lot of shows get canceled or get postponed to next year's, but now we restart here. How do you try to reinvent this cycle, you know, being a band for so long? Sometimes it can be a bit cyclic when you release an album, then you go on tour, uh, then you go back to the studio and another album. How do you try to keep uh, the music, the spirit fresh? Do we, <laughs> we always try to keep the spirit of our own music, you know. We, we, um, I think the most important part is to say that we never get any dictations from record companies or other doing this, doing that, you know, to get more commercial. You know, we do what we want, you know, we are just metal fans making music for a while. And that is the only difference to all the other bands around. Do you think that's the key to, to be a band for so long? To keep yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, uh, we love what we do. And now we have the best lineup ever, maybe. <laughs> and uh, it's so much fun and uh, to be together and uh, be on tour and everything and play. And uh, even in, in, the, in the rehearsal room when we practice, everything is a lot of fun. And uh, that's what, I guess, keep the band together. And uh, everybody's really into it to go on stage. And uh, yeah. I would love to have like a bit of a sneak peek into your uh, rehearsal room. So what happens there? Do you sometimes jam? Did you just practice the songs? Do you try to play new riffs and just create something new? How was it? It's, sometimes we, we go, go to rehearsal, you want to write a new song, whatever, you know. We just drink beer, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it always depends uh, what we want to do, you know. Or we, pray, uh, we are practicing set for live shows, or we, we start a new song and uh, record some drums or whatever, and uh, it's always a little different. Or we clean up our rehearsal room and get all the beer bottles out and everything. <laughs> Recycle them, of course. <laughs> I know, I know a, lot of, a lot of other bands, they don't practice in a rehearsal room, you know. They, they're gonna write songs by MP3 trading, you know, you're gonna send me a guitar file, I put some drums on it, you know. That is not the way it works, you know. You have to do it doing a jam session, start re, start recording a song, writing a song, you know. That's coming from your heart, you know. Of course, I think that metal is uh, trying to keep that as well. Uh, I've been asking all the bands about their uh, songwriting process because now technology has become uh, such an important thing in the songwriting process. So you're telling me that you keep it uh, with a jamming session, you try to make it from the heart, right? Yes. Uh, we are we are we're living in, a, in the same area, so we are able to rehearse two or three times a week. You know? That's amazing. It's not a band where, where the drummer is living in America, the, the singer is living in England. You know, they are able to write songs, but but it's not it's not the right way to do it. You know, of course. Uh, so now um, you're still releasing music. You're still uh, having new songs, and I know that war is a very important topic in uh, Sodom's music. 
So do you have an intake on what's happening right now between Russia and Ukraine? Uh, is that an inspiration for it's a, it, new yes, songs? Yes, it's, it's a bad situation, but it's a big inspiration for me writing lyrics or writing songs, you know. We always um, just describe how bad a war is or could be, you know. We, are, we, are only, we want to live in a peaceful world without wars, you know. Of course. We just describe it, you know. There is no, there is no political opinion into the songs, whatever. You never find any political statements in it. Just stop the fucking war, you know. We want to live in a peaceful world, like everybody on this, on this world, you know. Um, yes, but some people say, oh, these are fascists, or they are right, or they are left, you know. We are not. We want to have free. We want to have freedom, and um, that's what, what we're gonna write in the lyrics. You know? That's amazing. A uh, good thing I think about having uh, these kind of interviews when uh, where the uh, crowd can really get to know a bit of the band's um, side in, yes, in yes. certain topics, uh, despite all the things that they could think uh, with the songs and with uh, uh, maybe album covers and so. Uh, so coming back to to your music and your huge career, did you uh, do you at any point think about your career? What have you done and what will uh, stay for younger bands? Your influence on music and uh, other music genres. I know, I know that Sodom is a big influence to so younger bands. You know, I sometimes I talk to younger bands or younger musicians who are going to ask me what to do to get a rock star. <laughs> it's, very, it's very hard nowadays. You know? When we started the music, there, there was just a handful of bands that did this kind of music. You know? But nowadays, when you form a you know, new band, you know, it's very hard. You have to realize hundreds of new bands coming out every month. You know? And if you do music, try to find something special. You know? Try to. Um, you can copy. You cannot copy our music, but you can get ins inspired by this kind of music. Is there any new bands, uh, any new genres, or other musical styles that you're listening uh, to right now? I'm not the right guy to ask that. I'm, uh, I'm a little <laughs> ask him. <out. laughs> At the moment, I listen a lot Black Thrash. Okay. Uh, like Galore from Poland or Black Evil from Germany. Nice. Wallas from Germany, so uh, there's a fresh underground at the moment. That's amazing to uh, keep yourself fresh, to keep listening to new music. So, uh, first of all, it's great to have you back here at the festival. It's great to uh, have you hanging here in Mexico. How have you felt and how have you enjoyed Mexico so far? Uh, we didn't see so much from this kind of... We've been in the town, I, go, I bought some cowboy boots and also... Uh, <laughs> nice. Um, and, but, yes, but we never have time. Yeah, no, that's touring. Is the we arrived here, we are jet lagged, we go to sleep, you know. Now we are here. Tomorrow we have a day off, you know. We try to walk around or looking at other bands tomorrow, you know. That is always a big problem. Of it's course. a pity we should stay here uh, one or two more weeks for holidays. That would it's be so amazing. Nice here in the hotel, we have a pool and the weather is fine and everything. Uh, we should stay here a little longer. <laughs> you should. And yeah. I just had to look up uh, the name, but I enjoyed a drink called Michelada. Okay, and yes, so of course, Michelada. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, guys, uh, you are a huge part of this lineup. You're, um, I think, one of the uh, four very important parts that uh, the people were really looking forward to see. What's your intake on that? Can you hear me? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. We, we always do what we want. We go on stage, do it, do the set list and all. But it's amazing to see all the German bands in here. Though. We talk about the big four. We also have Grave Digger here. We have also Hellhammer here. It's great, you know. You never, you never get a festival with a line up like this in Germany or whatever. I don't know how it works out here, you know. It's fantastic, you know. We were very passionate. We were uh, working hard to have you all in here, all the German bands in here, and it's great. Thank you so very much for your time. It's great to talk to you, and I hope you really enjoy your show uh, in just an hour, okay? Thank you so much. Y aquí seguimos en las entrevistas que tenemos para todos ustedes en la quinta edición del México Metal Fest.